Hello darlings, I am Natalie La Queen and today's video is a very, 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 very highly anticipated video. You guys have asked me how I achieved my curly lashes with lash lift. So today's video is actually me explaining just exactly, exactly how I do my lash lift. I'm gonna ask you guys to please excuse my frizzy hair my makeupless face, I'm looking in the mirror, my botched eyebrow, <laughs> botched. Guys, I trimmed my eyebrow and I went a little cray and now I look like, like I look crazy. Anyway, I just removed all of my makeup for you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I used, what I did, and how I was able to wean off these lashes that I used to use, I want to say daily. Cheers. So let's start with what happened. What what in the world happened, Natalie? Why'd you stop? So what had happened was, I guess quarantine. Um, you know we don't normally walk around wearing masks, and when you're like Natalie, who loves makeup and like lashes and all that jazz, um. It's different. It's different. Makeup goes all over the mask. I personally feel like my mask does not last. It's coming off of my face. Um, I don't know if the steam from the mask just melts it right under my eyes and I'm like, my mascara is just sticking to my eye. It's awful. It's awful, guys. It's awful. And I feel like, especially going to work, oh, especially in the beginning of this whole corona covid mess um we we were wearing well not all of us but i was i was wearing like something to protect my eyes and we were wearing the n95s which are horrible <sighs> claustrophobia setting in um and when you're you're working like this for hours you just don't even care i was just like screw it i'm not wearing no falsies for this what and i noticed how amazing it was to not wear falsies because it's just nice. The reason why I put my hair back is because obviously we're gonna be working with our eyes, our eyelashes, and we want everything to be out of our face because we are applying a chemical to our lashes and it's very important that we can focus, focus. Um, so today's lash lift kit is this one, Icon Sign. I'm gonna link down below my Amazon storefront I had to think about that for a minute. You guys can go check it out if you guys want to purchase the exact one that I bought. And I also, with this, where are you? So I actually also, I've used this, I want to say three times. The first time was a mess. And that is because the glue that comes in this is horrible. It's horrible. So I went ahead and bought this glue. I will also link this down below in my Amazon storefront. This lash lift kit is amazing, minus the glue. We're gonna use this icon sign, I think that's what it's called, icon sign, lash lift, eyelash perming kit. And we are going to perm our lashes, yeah. So I'm gonna show you the kit. Obviously I took everything out, so it comes with a cleaning tool, the lift pads, which I have my lift pads here. I I love this little kit and here's where the products come. I'll show you them in a second. This glue never going to be touched again because it sucks. And ironically, they look almost the same, but they're not. I promise they are not. Let's talk about the lift pads. These come in many different sizes and I feel like a lot of people don't understand about the pads. They just assume that um, the small, they come small, medium, large, and I think a few other sizes in between. But I think they just assume that the small is for people with small eyelids and the large is for people with large eyelids. That's not how it works, darling. So basically what it is, is, I mean, I'm not a professional, but according to me, <laughs> according to me, this is what it is. And it makes sense. So I noticed that in the sizing, the small has a little small area, right? Naturally. But... Um, when you go up to like the large say it's like huge and so what I notice is that when you use a bigger size your lashes curl more 
like you have more of a curl. So maybe somebody with really long lashes wants to use the one with the curl because they can benefit from it. Whereas if someone with really long lashes uses a small, their lashes are going to be stick straight up and they're going to be poking them right on their the top of their eyelid. You know, that's not fun or comfortable. But for someone like me who doesn't have the longest eyelid, I don't have the shortest lashes, but I want to get the most out of my lashes. Um, I, I really want them to shoot straight up. So for someone like me, I would use the small. And I've tried using the medium and I did get a nice effect. But then when I switched to the small, I noticed that my lashes were like way up and I loved it. In the end, I feel like these pads are not based on the size of your eyelid, but more what kind of curl you want from your lashes, what kind of effect you want from your lashes, if that makes sense. So correct me if I'm wrong, professionals. Disclaimer, she is not a professional, so don't come for me. Do this at your own risk. These are chemicals. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming you can go blind. Obviously, I'm going to do everything in my power to not go blind. My advice to you guys is to just take your time, read the instructions, make sure you have a good setup for yourself, and plan accordingly. Um, if in any, at any time you feel like you're doing something wrong, you feel like something really wrong is going on, just stop. Take it off. Stop. You'll be fine. They're just lashes. I'd rather you ruin your lashes than your eyeballs. You're welcome. So this box has the instruct. It's very basic, simple. It comes like this. It comes with these four little containers. Um, basically what they are, they come numbered, so it's pretty simple, easy instructions. Um, the instructions are right on the back of the box. There's, they're not even inside. Like, it's so basic. It comes with a cleanser. It comes with the glue for the lash lifting, for the lashes to stick to the pad. But again, the glue that it comes with is no good. Um, it comes with the perm lotion. Um, then it comes with the fixing agent. A nutrition lotion, which I believe you put at the end, but I never care too much for that one. I mean, whatever. Um, and I'm going to explain to you why I don't care for that one. Um, one awesome, awesome thing that I've noticed from discontinuing the use of falsies, which I love. I love falsies to death. But like I said, it just wasn't um, it just wasn't a thing for me this quarantine because I do work in healthcare. I failed to mention that. I work in healthcare, so at work, we, at the beginning of this whole mess of COVID, we had to be, like, covered up, and I'm like, who am I to be using falsies, like? Stop it, girlfriend. So let me explain to you. I have been using um, this little baby. What this is is castor oil, which I purchased. It came in this container, but I put it in here because I thought it was more aesthetically pleasing on my um, little vanity area. Um... So it's uh, pure cold pressed top quality oil, according to this. It's it's a heritage store, the Palma Christie. I have been brushing this on my eyelashes just at the tip with this little brush every single night that I am home because I do work some nights. Um, I'll take off all my makeup and brush it on my eyelashes here and just on the bottom. I have noticed a lot of growth in my lashes. I mean like new growth. I don't know about the length, but um, I think just in general, letting your lashes grow. Because I notice I have some really long ones and some really short ones, which means that those little short ones are still growing. So if you just let your lashes grow, you're going to have full long lashes, I think. <laughs> I want to make it very clear that when I was using falsies, I was using glue, lash glue. Um, I don't think it matters which kind of lash glue you use because glue is glue. And in the end the aim of the glue is to make sure your lashes stay on so that you don't look psycho throughout your day, right? Well, the only problem with this is that the lash glue does get stuck to your lashes sometimes. And so I want to say daily I was ripping out at the very least, like at the very least three lashes. And can you imagine every single day pulling out three lashes? Like I'm lucky I wasn't lash bald. I don't know how I'm, I wasn't, but one thing that I have been really trying to do since stopping these, uh, the application of falsies and really entertaining my real lashes, natural lashes, is I'm trying to be more gentle. I'm trying not to pull on my lashes and I'm trying to like really love on them. And so because I do like to wear waterproof makeup, um, 
waterproof mascara is not the easiest to take off at all. This was my go-to for makeup before using the waterproof mascara. This is the Garnier Skin Active Missler Cleansing Water. And I started out with the pink one, but I switched to this blue one because I realized that it really does remove everything. That is until I started entertaining globs and globs of mascara. I'm joking, but I do enjoy applying a generous amount of mascara and it is waterproof. So I had this and I haven't used it in a while, but I'm so happy that I did have it because this Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser actually removes everything. Um, this is a moisturizing deep cleanser and a makeup remover. And so what I do is I'll like take a little bit with my nail. I know not hygienic. I don't care. <laughs> She's not that extra. Um, this is the real life, guys. Sorry. So I will use my finger. I don't care. But I'll take a little bit. I'll put it right on my lash, lashes, eye area. Close your eye and rub and I'll gently rub gently with it. I'll usually rub for, for I wanna say like 40 seconds to a minute. And what this does, gently rubbing, it works the product in and helps dissolve um, the mascara, the waterproof mascara. And honestly, this has been life-saving. So to start off, you wanna clean your eye. I already did that with that um, Pons. The one thing that I really, really tried to work on was to make sure that I removed the Pond's lotion because like I mentioned, it is oily and obviously if you want something to stick to your lid like the lash lift pad, oil is not the best thing to have on your lid. The lash lift kit says directions for use. Number one, use the cleanser number four to remove the oil, dust, and makeup residue. Okay, number four. So we're gonna look at our little bottles here. Number four is the cleanser. Here she is, here she is. Another thing that I wanna say about this little kit is that it does not come with brushes. What it does come, it comes with a clean cleaning tool. Here, I'll show you. Um, comes with three of these. And so it's like a Y-shaped tool. Here's like a little brush. And then here's just a flat thing. And honestly, that's really annoying to me because I've seen um, professionals and other lash lift kits, I've seen them come with little brushes. You know, those little pink brushes, almost like a Q-tip type looking brush where you can apply stuff to the eye eyelashes. And this does not, this comes with this, which is not my favorite, but it's not the end of the world. So I guess what I'm gonna do with this cleanser is go in with my finger. Um, it does come with a little stopper here, so you just want to take that off, which is kind of cool. It keeps everything in place. So I'm just going to go in with my finger and really get on everything. Just cleanse the hell out of it, I guess. I don't know. Make sure it's clean, because once you start, you know, once you got everything going, you don't want nothing to be ruined. And I'm going to remove it. Okay, we're going to do one eye at a time, and that way I'll be able to show you guys the difference from eye to eye. I also want to add that I've never had a professional lash lift done. And I'm really curious on how my lashes would turn out if I did get one. But obviously right now is not the best time to do that. Um, it feels like this whole COVID scare is over, but honestly, it's still out and thriving, so I'm not going to take my chances. I've done this before. I kind of know the steps. So next, you want to apply the eye pads under the eyelid. What you want to take, do is take some glue, apply the eye pads. I'm going to be real honest. I have not used the lash glue for my eyelids to apply the pad onto my eyelid. What I did use was dual lash glue, and it works really good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's what I did. Dual lash glue. This was my thing like i have not used this in like two months or so um this stuff was my baby um, oh my god i haven't used it in so long it's created a little barrier why why oh why um get your pad i'm using the smalls because i mentioned I want maximum liftage. So the aim of these pads is to 
get them as close to the base of your lashes. Um, they're not comfortable really, but this isn't about comfort. This is about getting those lashes lifted. Amen? Amen. So this is the hardest part of the lash lift, which is getting the lashes to stick to the pad. And this really is the hardest part for me. It's my least favorite part, but whatever. The purpose of the pad is to protect your skin, your skin from the lotions, the perming lotions. I want to add these directions are a little funny. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but funny in the sense that they don't really make sense in English sometimes, certain things, but more or less you make it work. Um, this is from a different country. Oh, manufacturer, China. Okay, so the translation is not the best, but it's okay. You make it work. It works. It works. I've done it. <laughs> so, and it's really freaking cheap. Listen, I'd rather pay cheap than expensive. Like, I'll take your translation. I'll take it. So next is you're going to apply the glue on the eyelashes to keep it stuck to the lift pads for one minute. One minute. Throw that out the window. Girl, do what you can to get those lashes stuck. What what does that even mean for one minute? So you mean to tell me this whole perm process is going to take one minute? Why would you even say that? No, this is going to take a long ass time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Was that John Legend? Man, that song is old. <laughs> I am so old. Grab the brush side on that and just try to get those lashes to stick, baby girl. See, this is really, really hard. I don't, I don't like this. This is going to take me a while, so the basically you're taking the brush and brushing those lashes up brushing 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 them up baby girl brush take your time with this brush those lashes on the way you want them to be curled because that's how they're going to be curled and if you look a mess it's going to be your fault because you're the one who are sticking these lashes up the way that you are so let me focus i'll be right back okay now that we're back our eyelashes are stuck and I look crazy. Um, this is one of the more time consuming parts of this. And your eyelashes might come unstuck, unstuck, unstuck in the process. You can always add some. This glue is a life changer because you guys do not know how much I struggled with the, the glue that comes in the kit. Oh my god. But she didn't know any better. So use me as your guinea pig because. I'm telling you it makes a difference so next step you're gonna take your perm lotion this is product number two you're gonna take the perm lotion and you're gonna apply it to the lashes so after you've applied this to your eyelashes you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap here she is here she is glad glade glade bags glad bags whatever you call them thank you sponsor me this is a part where I tell you it's really frustrating because it does not come with a tool to get the product out. Like, excuse me, what the hell am I supposed to scoop this out with? My pinky that doesn't fit in there? You know what I'm saying? Not to worry, Natalie. Uh, oops. Not to worry, Natalie is a genius. Here we have a bobby pin. What you want to do with that bobby pin is you want to open it. And now you have... A makeshift spatula kind of this is so tiny so here we go so you want to apply this be careful because again these are chemicals um I think the most important part is that you get the base of the lashes um the the ends of the lashes are not that important because we're not really curling that we're curling this here the base and the center um, and honestly, I feel like the the least bit of lash that you burn is better. You know what I mean? Because this is a perm lotion that does burn your lash hairs, basically. It, it changes them so that they'll stick permanently. You want to be gentle so that you do not get this in your eye. Because if you do, I'm pretty sure it's not going to feel good. 
All right, kids, we're back. I have placed this all over the base of my lashes and then some. So now what it says to do So now what it says to do is to cover your lashes with cling wrap and this is a really poorly cut piece of cling wrap but whatever whatever um and what i notice is that when you kind of cut the cling wrap to the shape of your lash line type of thing is that it doesn't move around all over the place because i've tried this with like a huge piece of plastic it was just all over the place and this is so much easier to keep up with like it just stays and so now what you want to do is leave it for 10 to 12 minutes because my lashes are very thick and coarse type i want to say i will be leaving it for the maximum amount of time um so 901 i want to say like 910 because I've been applying it and messing with it. Um, it's been a like maybe two, three, four minutes. I don't know. I'll, I'll stop at 9.10. It's 9.01. I don't know if you can see. Um, at 9.10 we will stop and we will... We need to prep, be ready because you don't want this to burn your lashes. This is the perm lotion. So I do have the clean wrap on. You can barely see it. It's just very little. So the next step says... Uh... So you're going to remove the perm lotion with the Y brush. So with this horrible little tool that I hate with all my heart. I would probably use this part of it because this one, it's a brush and it's very sharp and it might take your lashes off the pad and we don't want that just yet. Step number six, remove the perm lotion with the Y brush. Then apply fixing agent, which is number two. I love how they um, numbered the bottles along with the instructions because it makes it so easy. Wait. Oh, you guys. You guys, I messed up. You guys, this is the importance of paying attention. I applied the fix, what is this? The fixation lotion before the perm lotion, you big dope. The perm lotion goes first. It's step number one. It's numbered. <laughs> so I remove that. Guys, pray I don't burn off my lash. Oh my god. So now we're going to apply the perm lotion. These are some strong ass lashes. Don't make it. So you want to apply this. And... Then we'll leave it on for 10 to 12 minutes. We'll start all over. You guys, I have used this little kit three times already. This is my fourth time. And you see how much product is in here. Like, this is going to last you forever. Especially if you have a little spatula to help you so that you don't waste product. But you just need so much precision, precision and such little product that this is going to last you for a while. So the product is on now. We're going to wait 10 to 12 minutes and then we're going to brush it off again. Sorry, guys. That was like a mistake I was not counting on, obviously. The flat side to remove it after the 10 to 12 minutes. And we're going to come in this time with the number two fixation lotion. Guys, she messed up. I do want to mention that with the perm lotion, right when you, you're done placing it, you want to place... Remember to put the cling wrap because it makes a difference according to other reviews that I've watched So I always use the cling wrap and then once we're done with this We're gonna remove it and put the fixation lotion and again with the cling wrap and with the fixation lotion We are gonna leave it on for 10 to 12 minutes again so perm lotion Perm lotion fixation lotion you guys, I can't believe I messed up and did the steps backwards, but um, that's real life. And I think the reason why I don't freak out is because that is my life <laughs> in general. Poop just hits the fan sometimes and you just need to um, recollect yourself and carry on because that's life. That's life with everything. If I can teach you anything, it's just to just chill out. 
recollect yourself and pick up where you left off. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say it's been at least a month or more since I permed my lashes last. And the reason why I can tell is because I can't remember the last time I did it. And because my lashes are flat now, there's no lift in them. And that is the natural state of my lashes. So this is exciting, guys. You guys are going to love the outcome. Like the first time I did this, I was like, no way. Like, no way. Your lashes just look that much better. I honestly feel like this lash lift kit has been one of the key things to my entertaining my natural lashes because for someone like me who has such thick um just like stick straight lashes it makes a difference you'd be amazed like what a difference it makes for me so if i can find that much pleasure in this kit i don't see why so many of you wouldn't like it's made a difference and honestly i have not touched my selfies my selfie i have not touched my falsies in i want to say two to three months i'm not sure but like that's that's crazy because i would wear them daily i would wear them to the gym all right guys so i went ahead and removed the perm lotion which was step one the step one perm lotion and again, I want to make it very clear that you want to use the side that doesn't have the brush because this is very, this is very good at combing out your lashes, but you don't want to comb them out anymore because remember, they are glued to the pad. And what we really want to avoid is for those lashes to become unstuck from the pad because that's what's going to help give them the shape with the perm lotion. Using the flat side, I went ahead and slowly, gently wiped it up and wiped it on a paper towel. Of course, you are not gonna get all the product off. That's just inevitable because we're not going in rough. It's very gentle. So I got as much as I could off and now we're going in with step two, the fixation lotion. So now we're gonna use this lotion. Um, you, uh, uh. No. Five years later, we're gonna go in with our fixation lotion, grab your bobby pins, and get it out. And again, just like the perm lotion, going at the base of your lashes and up. Um, it's more important that you get the base than the tips of the lashes, okay? And once you've applied, you're going to place your cling wrap over it and wait 10 to 12 minutes. All right, guys, so now that we've left the fixation lotion on for 10 to 12 minutes, what you want to do, essentially you're done, your eyelashes permed, I know, hard to believe. So you're going to remove the cling wrap, removed, and you're going to do what you did with the perm lotion. You're going to use this side and you're going to scrape it off. Just scrape it off, take your time. There's no rushing this. Remember, your lash is already permed. I know, so hard to believe, so exciting. But once you've removed the product as much as you could with the wipe brush, it's just to take the cleanser and use it to clean. But I am very cautious of this because if you add any kind of liquids to what's already on there, which are chemicals, it might drip into your eye. So I am not willing to risk that. You can continue to use this to remove as much as you can. You can also use the comb. This would be when you can use it. Um, but again, they are stuck to the... To this whole thing so it's a little complicated but just take your time there's no rushing this it's very important that you think things through and that you do what's best for you and your eyes and it's so easy guys you literally just grab the pad and be careful with this part don't pull off your lashes take your time okay we're gonna have to use that cleanser because it's not coming up I'm just going to use my finger to dab some on because I don't want this dripping into my eye. Yeah. And use the brush to kind of comb out the hairs. There they go. I like to go sideways a little bit to come in from the side and kind of remove them because they are stuck to the pad. And there you go, it's off. Um, I will be using the cleanser to remove the glue and all the gunk. <laughs> it looks so bad. Let me clean this off and I'll come right back. So I just removed all of the glue to the best of my ability. Um, it was a little bit of a process, but like I said, take your time. Make sure you don't pull off your lashes because 
that defeats the purpose, right? Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because I believe that my mistake did cost me in the end because my lashes have curled way more than this and I feel like it did affect the curling process but even then you can see the difference from this eyelash from these eyelashes to these eyelashes like it's pretty significant and think about like when you apply mascara it amplifies like times three maybe so i'm really happy with this kit um i am disappointed that this happened the mistake i mean um which just comes to show natalie pay attention <laughs> No, but just in general and everything, you need to pay attention because it can it can have repercussions. Repercussions. Um repercussions. Is that correct? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um but I'm really happy with the outcome. And I'm just gonna keep working at it and I'll only get better at this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that um, a lash lift can have an effect on your confidence or um, just how you feel about yourself in general? For me, it has made a difference. It, you guys can see that I stopped wearing falsies um, because for me, falsies, they just make your eyes like pop. And I still love falsies, but I'm really enjoying entertaining my natural lashes and this lash lift kit has really helped me especially during this quarantine like you know to feel cute because obviously like working in healthcare like yeah you need to protect yourself but obviously i still want to look cute and feel cute so this has really been nice um i feel like i will continue to use this product and i ha this is my fourth time using it so five not five stars i won't give it five stars because of the lash glue that it came with and because it's missing certain tools that i feel are important to the process but i'll give it four stars like because it's really inexpensive and it really has made a difference to how um i i get ready and what i do to feel beautiful and my best and i feel that if something can do that for you especially at the at the price point i believe it was like 20 dollars between 20 and 25 dollars maybe um i think it's worth it i mean what more can you ask for it's not like this is like a hundred dollar product or anything like that it's very inexpensive and i feel like you can just go back into amazon and you can even find those little spoolies and those little lash lift ones you can find all of that on amazon so i'm really not worried about it um you can improvise. You saw I used a uh, bobby pin. Just opened it up and used it. Super like easy. If you guys want another demo, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and perm my second set of lashes. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Um, let me know if you have tried this and how you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, excuse my crazy hair, um, I just had to come back and show you my freaking eyelashes. Okay, so, you guys know I messed up on this set of eyelashes, well, when I was doing this one, I was like, well, screw it, why don't I do, like, half the time for this one and see what happens? And you guys, <laughs> my eyelash, my eyelashes look amazing, and they look even better on this side, so now i want to go back and do half the time on this one to make them pop just as much because oh my goodness they look so good i'm gonna go back and do this one for a few more minutes and i am so excited to see how it looks <laughs> all right guys so final review i think it speaks for itself you guys know i messed up on this one and it didn't come out quite as lifted so when i was doing this one I went ahead and did this one as well and I left it in for I want to say half the time but by the time I was done with both of them I realized that this one looks so much more amazing than this one I guess because of the extra time so I went ahead and went back and did this one for half the time again and wouldn't you know it they look amazing I love them um I can't wait to try mascara on them but I'm not gonna touch them just yet because 
when you do a lash perm you shouldn't put product on them or water right away um, I would wait like a day if you can if not just wait as long as you can um, I definitely have put mascara on right after but if you can wait I would um, so it's the end of the day it's nighttime I I'm just gonna go walk Oliver and wait for my husband to get home from work and enjoy my lashes because they look amazing oh my god um, so basically I feel like the only reason why it was safe for me to do this is because I have really thick coarse lashes if you have thin lashes I wouldn't do it even if you mess up I would not do it because it's better to have some kind of lashes than no lashes so just keep that in mind um, always you know move with caution um, plan ahead and think before you do something because these are chemicals but oh, <laughs> I love it <laughs> all right guys that's all just wanted to show you the final outcome um, I hope you have a wonderful day night whatever time it is that you are watching this and I love you